everyone, thanks for watching The Bottom Line. In our last video, we toured Premier Street Rods facility, and this time around, we're gonna go in depth with their 57 Chevy truck build, which is by far one of the most insane trucks we've ever photographed or really seen in person. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So driving line viewers would probably recognize this vehicle as we shot it, you know, a little while ago and did phenomenally well. A lot of people viewed it. So uh, Ross, tell me a little bit about this truck, how it came together, how it came to be. and um long story short on this thing because it's a long story um but we'll, we'll kind of shut uh cut it down for uh viewers there uh we built this truck for a very very good client of ours uh he ended up passing away after the truck was all said and done uh it's a very sad deal so um the truck has pretty much uh came back um fought back and uh it stays with us with a deep and heavy heart and you know we uh we think of him every time we uh, get in this thing and drive it, but uh, all in all, this thing was built um, as a pro touring, clean, all in all cruiser truck. <laughs> okay, so we know the name is Snow White. Um, it's obviously red and white, which are the colors of you know princess in the in the Disney movie. But how how did how did the name? You know come about you know, was it just the colors or was there something more behind it, it, it or? was colors i mean the, the the color itself is a it's a house of colors color and it's called snow white pearl um long story short so everyone doesn't get this confused i do not come up with the names of these vehicles that's my mother so all these names of these vehicles you guys see that is my mother's uh so Thought she's the process. one we gotta talk. She's yeah, the creative she, one yeah, here. She's, she's the <laughs> one that, that has the mindset of who names these things. Sometimes I come on like, what, what are you thinking? But it sticks and everyone, you know, everyone notices and remembers it now. I mean, when I was at the gas station this morning and some guy yelled at me, Snow White. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and, and that's just one thing is that like, I think, uh, because, you know, I don't know necessarily if it's the name, it was the, you know, the quality, the build, everything, you know, the notoriety, everything, you know, it's went through magazines and everything, but you know, this truck really does have a personality of its own. You know, it, it's not just another build. It's, it's really become, you know, its own character in that sense. Yeah, it definitely has, uh, especially on the social media world. I mean, this thing picked up and ran heavy and, uh, you know, still to this day, I mean, this truck is two years, three years old now. And to this day, it's still people are googly eye over it. Yeah, I think I think it's like become you know kind of like your calling card, kind of your digital calling card. Uh, yeah, you know, and just if that's you know, what it is, that's what it is, man. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> you know, and things have changed since then. I think when you guys when we first shot it, you know, um, you know, business was a little bit different. It seems like now, you know, your builds that are coming out, like people know the name. A lot of people are coming out here um, and. and having you guys build things for them. It's been a it's been a great uh, journey. I mean, this whole time, I think, uh, you know, this is one of the vehicles that kind of really uh, kicked us off and really like kind of name uh, put a name for ourselves, um, which, you know, that that brings a lot of sentimental to the family and, you know, the shop as well. I mean, it's kind of like the shop's icon um, from, you know, really how it started and took off. You know, since then, you know, we've been trying to step the game up every to every build that we do that's a full-on cuz i mean full-on build and we try to push the boundaries and do better and better every time and it's been a uh it's been a freaking thrill man <laughs> cool let's let's go over some details can yeah. we get you to pop the hood yeah yeah just, you gotta check, take a look at this thing it's just absolutely amazing wow Same. See, this is one of those things that like, it, you know, makes this truck stand out from the others is underneath the hood. I mean, you look at, you know, right here, we don't, you know, the fender wells are completely custom. The firewall shaved out. We, I don't see any wires, no really many there. hoses yeah, or anything no that's, there, yeah. that that really pop out. It's just kind of eye candy, you know, and goes, sucks you in towards the motor. Yeah, and that yeah. was the, that was the overall design. I mean, of doing this one is, you know, we wanted just a very cleanly missed, you know, engine bay, you know, and we didn't want to see, you know, on this one, we didn't want to see anything. And, you know, I, I'm still, I still look at some of the wiring on the injector harnesses and I'm like, oh, we could have hit that differently. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, regardless, you know, we, we went through the extra extent on this one and, you know, you don't see any, like you said, you don't see any fasteners, no wires, no looms, like no nothing. Um, and it took some time. I mean, you know, doing this stuff and building them like where they're hidden and a lot of people don't understand the amount of time that goes into just doing a simple engine bay, even though it looks simple, 
it, the amount of work and labor that goes into it is just astronomical. So it looks like this is LS based. What exactly do we have going on? Yeah, here? this one, this is Blueprint Engines. Uh, this is their 632. So this is an LS3. Um, it's their four, or it's their 427 LS3. So um, it's putting out. Uh, when we dyno this thing, we obviously we, we put a different intake. It's got a tune on it and everything else. Um, this thing is putting down about 530 to the tire, which is. Jesus. Good. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. a good street truck. Yeah, on something that doesn't have like yeah. traction control or anything like and, that. You know, well, not, and not only that, I mean, it's, you know, I think the overall build of the whole entire truck, it's, uh, you know, it's sitting on a TCI chassis. Um, this is their pro, this is like their first chassis that came out for these uh, trucks that actually had the track bar set up in it. So it has, even though it's on the um, shockways from Ritech, it actually is designed off an autocross type of a base. So the feel of this truck when you drive it, you can drive it as a casual driver, or if you want to get nasty with it, I mean, it'll get nasty and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I say we get nasty with it later on tonight. We're supposed to, you know, drive around with it. So uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> All right, while we're up here, um, I noticed, you know, one of the, the namesakes, I guess, of this build is the grill. Um, tell us how that came about. What, what is actually going on here? It looks like, you know, we have like, uh, parts of 57 Bel Air going yeah, on here. I mean, being the trucks of 57, you know, we try to keep like the the era correct in it. And it's just one of those things that instead of having an opening, what we did, we took a 57 uh, Bel Air car grill and ended up shortening it down, welding it up, and then uh, basically, you know, did the brush finish that we have on all the accents of the truck. Um, so it kind of gives it that extra era correct customization, if you want to say on the front end. Gotcha. So kind of like in the in the era, but not necessarily just kind of blending things together. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, GM just taking GM, it from there. Yeah, car to truck era. I mean, year to year. I mean, it just kind of worked, and uh, it, you know how the body lines and everything else worked on the truck. It, it, was, it just seemed like a nice fit for the truck at the time. Sweet. So let's uh, let's check out the inside. It looks pretty detailed in here. So this is full custom. Um, I get, it looks like you know from the floor up like everything <laughs> in here like i mean not a single bit of it has been untouched yeah uh, the interior came out really really nice uh ron magnus and his team uh they they can put out some really nice stuff and uh, you know we use them 99.9 percent .9 of the time when we can so um we have a good relationship with him and uh, this is one that we just uh let him told him kind of an idea and let him just take reins and go um you know what you guys see in here you know the one thing that stands this thing apart this truck is full leather um down to the floorboards um the dash the headliner every piece of fabric in this thing is leather yeah usually when you see like uh, like white on the inside you probably want to put like booties on or something or take your shoes off but like full-on leather on the floor like I don't even know if I want to step in this thing. Like, how, how, how does one drive it? It's a truck, man. It'll work. I mean, it'll clean out. Don't worry about it. So one of the things we noticed is the uh, poison apple that's in here. Um, I guess that just kind of goes along with the name and everything. And <laughs> it, it, it does. It's, again, mother prevails. Um, actually, a really good friend of ours uh, brought this in to us, and it just, when we were building this thing, and it has stuck with the truck ever since. So uh, this is uh, Snow White's Poison Apple. <laughs> yeah, I, re I remember seeing that like originally when, I, I don't know, I, actually, yeah, it was at SEMA when, when you debuted the truck and everything. Yeah. And it was like, that was a perfect tie-in to the name. Bring the so whole, it, it just like, it was fitting nice. to have that inside there. Well, you nice little touch. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, one thing we notice um, is the wheel and tire package. I mean, the wheels look absolutely amazing. So uh, give us some detail on them. Uh, it's a Budnick wheel. Um, they have been a very you know popular wheel um, with us and you know hold the whole industry. They make a phenomenal wheel. Um, this one is gonna be, uh, we wrapped, uh, it's a 2022 combo, uh, wrapped them in uh, Nito, uh, the Envo tires. Uh, they're uh, 245, 35 in the front, uh, 285, 30 in the rear. Um, it just fills the wheel wheels out real nicely on these body styles, and um, all in all, as far as like the, the wheel tire combo, um, tires perform magnificent. Um, you know, they're definitely going to be your high performance style um, tire. Um, really gives the traction you know, when you're when you're in it and going. 
um, and also a nice smooth ride. Um, and all in all, it's just the whole package just fits it perfectly. I think also like a, a lot of trouble that, you know, custom builders have, and especially with trucks, is that, um, you know, these sizes get a little weird and funky and, you know, you get, you know, narrow fronts and wide backs and it seems like, you know, uh, and the, and you know that, it's hard to find the sizes that, you know, and styles that match. It, it, yeah, it is. And, you know, the, the meat of the invos, uh, these invos, they actually have a good selection of like a, a genre of different sizes. Um, to a lot of like these sport trucks and everything, or not, I can't say sport trucks, but it's not, like the pro touring guys and everything else, muscle car scene trucks, you know, with the 18s, 19s, 20s, 22s, 24s, um, you know, the Invo is an all around go to tire for us and, and, you know, and it will be for the future. All right, moving around to the bed, it looks like it's full custom. I mean, this isn't something you see you know, stock, so it's tell a, me a little bit more about it. It's an aluminum floor. We, you know, we wanted to do something rather than the wood. Um, so we went through and actually made aluminum panels to imitate the wood um, with the uh, with the strip on the house, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a custom modern look. And then what you got, like uh, some of the air rides in here? Yeah, yeah, tank and everything's mounted in the back. Um, you know, we, we run AccuWare on all of our stuff, you know, RIP those guys, you know, they made a hell of a product and changed the industry for sure. Um, but uh, it's been good and solid in this truck. Um, you know, we're three years of drive time on it and we haven't had a single problem with it, so good things. It, if anybody doesn't know, basically the systems that are out there nowadays for air ride, basically you just, you set them up and push, press a button and everything's set to go. Yeah. You got your drive height, you know, you got it slammed and all that stuff. And, and it, I guess that's what we got going on with, with uh, Snow White and just the way she's set up and just, yeah, pretty friend. much, yeah, User exactly. Friendly, yeah. <laughs> Set up to just go, get in yeah, and drive. Get in it and so it. it's not typically like a lot of like show vehicles. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to drive it. I don't want to do anything. It's just a pain in the ass to you know get going. But I, I mean, it seems like not only does Snow White look good, but Snow White also it just you can get in and just drive it, and enjoy it. You know, and it Beep. looks like you know that that's kind of the level of you know build quality that they have and able to produce here. And not only that, but beat the hell out of it too. All right, so you said this thing rips, Snow White rips. Can we test it in action? Take it for a little spin, see how uh, she does. My pleasure. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so I'm pretty excited to be riding in Snow White right now. It's not something I get to do that often, you know, riding a vehicle like this. Uh, though I've been able to shoot it many times, uh, this is quite a treat today. So. Uh, Ross, I mean, you, you get to drive this thing all the time, right? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I've, I've definitely put some miles on this thing, that's for sure. <laughs> Have some fun, spin some tires. Yeah, she's, uh, uh, she's, she's, she's had some tire spinning, just for sure. And, and, and I know you got to put some miles on these vehicles before, like, you know, they go out the door and before you give them out to a customer. Uh, you know, how many miles do you do for, like, a shakedown? Typically, I mean, we like to shoot about 300 miles. Um, 300 miles is a good number for us. I mean, if we have it longer, you know, and especially if we're going to take trucks or if we're going to build them and do some showing with them, um, within a, I mean, what the customer wants. But I mean, at that point, you know, we can put anywhere from 600 to 1,000 miles on them. Uh, the last SEMA truck, you know, right after SEMA, that thing had, uh, what, eight miles on it when we brought it to SEMA. Yeah, I, re I remember when we went to Arizona for yeah. in the Scottsdale for a Good Guys show, yeah, yeah. and you like said you drove it straight yeah. there, Man, and it it's just straight. insane. I mean, that's pretty much the test drive. Like yeah. you, you debuted it at SEMA, and then like what was it like a week later this yeah. year because it was like really tight right. on the schedule, right. and all of a sudden you're driving it a couple hundred miles down south, yeah, you know, on, on a shakedown, yeah, so, and, and it made it. Yeah. So no problem, 700 or something miles that we did all the way uh, from here to Scottsdale all around phoenix i mean we ripped that thing everywhere and uh not one not one issue at all on that truck so uh that was a really really um fun build for us unfortunately well i can't say unfortunately i do i do miss that truck but it's out in the east coast now and uh something inside me wants it back on the west coast <laughs> well actually what something uh, is a little bit refreshing about this truck is that like it, it's also a manual, so you know uh, what we got a six-speed here. What, what what exactly? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a it's a, it's a Tremec. Uh, so this is a T56 Magnum uh, six-speed um, with that LS, and I mean it it rips. So you can you jump on anywhere, and it'll freaking fry tires. <laughs> so my question is, uh, why why manual? A lot of these trucks, you know, they're built, you know, a showpiece a little bit, you know, a little bit like cruisers. 
Uh, Why did you guys decide to go that route? Manual's always more fun to drive, in my opinion. I mean, if I were ever to build a vehicle, I mean, if I own my personal ones or whatnot, it's got to have a it's got to have a man pedal in it. There's just something about a manual where it's just more fun, more enjoyable. Yeah, exactly. You get you can feel the gears. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, you just feel the power yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you're one with the car at that point. Uh, you know, that's just a personal preference for me. And uh, you know, we can do anything and everything, but if I were to choose, a manual would be the one all day long. Well, she definitely purrs. Oh, look at that. I mean, you guys have this view every day of this lake. It's an amazing place to have a shop. <laughs> yeah, at this time of the year, it's uh, work in the shop and play in the lake. <laughs> Yeah, summertime, I bet, you know, it just, uh, you, know, you get a little too hot, man, you can take a dip, right? Everyone, I mean, everyone after work, I mean, especially in the summertime, it's, uh, it's either to the pool or to the lake, one of the two, so it doesn't matter which one it is, just as long as you get in the water and get wet, what it's about down here. This is absolutely amazing, I mean, I mean you know, to feel the power this truck has, but dude, how smooth it is, I mean, this, it drives better than the, you know, BMW I drove here in. I mean, like, we were smooth sailing, yeah. but I feel like, you know, I could drive home all the way to, you know, SoCal in this thing and have no problems. Yeah, it'd, it'd be totally comfortable. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice cruiser. I mean, you know, that's the best part about this truck is you can cruise it or you can get after it. It'll, it'll, it'll handle both worlds, all worlds.